Hey, this is installing Android SDK on macOS. This is if you want to flash new ROMs or OTA updates on your Nexus devices or Android devices, any Android device. This is a tutorial for Mac. So what you want to do is go to Chrome or Safari or whatever browser you have. Google and type Android SDK hit enter then go to this link right here download Android Studio it's from developerandroid.com now we're not going to install the whole Android Studio that's if you want to make apps for Android we're just gonna install the SDK so go here install the SDK and the standalone SDK tools right here download the SDK now and we're going to choose SDK only and the Mac OS file. We're gonna hit enter. We're gonna accept the terms and condition and we're gonna hit download. It's gonna start downloading. I've already downloaded so I'll hit cancel. Fine. Okay so we downloaded it. We're gonna go into Finder and into Downloads, but I it didn't download to my downloads because I wanted to download it to my desktop, so it's on desktop. We're gonna have Android. Let's have another look here. Android SDK Mac OS X zip. In the zip folder, we're gonna double click it, and it's gonna, and then after we unzip it. A folder will appear Android SDK Mac OS S. We're gonna enter it, enter it, and you won't have. Let me just change the view again. So it, we're gonna have this Android SDK Mac OS. We're gonna go in it, and you won't have everything here because we're going to install them. What we're gonna do first is go to Tools. And on Android here, double click it. Right. It's gonna do that. And this is basically going to install our the tools we needed. So this is the window that came up. Updates and new is selected and installed is selected. What you're gonna wanna do, mine's already installed now, but I'm gonna show you what you wanna do is select, deselect, there's gonna be a bunch of things selected, we don't need them all. Just select from the tools here, select Android SDK tools, it might be installed, you won't have to do that, and Android SDK platform tools, these are the only two files you'll need. After you're going to select them here and here, then it's, you're going to oh, let me just here and here mines are already installed as you can see you're going to hit install packages and it's going to install them it's going to take a while it won't be really fast depending on your computer and you're going to have need internet access anyway after it's installed you'll just close this and this Go back to your root folder, your Android SDK Mac OS X, and you're gonna have platform tools now. The a folder in your Android SDK. You're gonna have platform tools. Double click that, and now here you're going to see Fastboot and a ADB. That's what you need. If you, let's say you wanna install 
that's it. You basically have ADB now and Fastboot on your Mac. But let's say you want to update an access device using an o OTA f file that you downloaded from the internet. You're going to want to put it into this folder, so into Platform Tools. Again, under SDK, Platform Tools, and you're going to want to put it here. This is it's going to be a zip file, this here. Now, how, how are you going to do that? First, on your Android device, let's say you have an access, you're going to go into recovery mode and hit install using ADB. Then, you're going to connect it to your Mac with a USB driver, with a USB cable, sorry, and you're going to go to terminal. How do you do that? You go here, little spotlight hit terminal enter and this is your terminal now getting into the uh, using the ADP you're gonna hit uh, LS this is this shows everything that you have here and you're gonna do CD downloads or in my ca case CD desktop because that's where I have my Android SDK Mac OS X folder so CD desktop good then CD Android SDK Mac OS X we're there then CD platform tools and we're there now have we're, we have this file here that we wanna flash that we wanna install on our Nexus we're gonna copy it hit enter command C Go back to our terminal. We're going to push period forward slash ADB side load and we're going to paste what we just copied and hit enter having our Nexus device connected through the USB and that's it you should be good to go okay hope it helps bye